Okay, so good day and welcome back to Good Money's Coins and Banknotes. And this is only going to be a short video. So today we have uh, just new banknotes that I got from shopping. So as we know, there is a push to actually use more cash. And that is because if you use card, they put surcharges. Now my wife still wants to use cash or cash back, so we've come to a compromise. If it's a large payment we'll use card because it's just a bit risky to take cash if it's smaller we use cash and if they have a surcharge we either don't buy it or we use cash so it's basically it anyway so for these banknotes we have the first one is a 2021 five dollar banknote and this is the last banknote that they have printed because uh, they didn't print any banknotes in 2022. If you want to find out what banknotes they print, you go to the Reserve Bank of Australia, banknotes, uh, serial numbers. So if you click on that, you can see 2023 they printed. That's the last banknotes that they have in there. It's only 50 and 100. So no five, obviously. No 2022, and then there's 21. And they printed fives, twenties, fifties, and hundreds. So they haven't printed any ten dollar banknotes for seven years, and that's got to do with the pretty much the electronic payments. And this is a banknote. It's a low print, so you have got AA to EJ, and it's only seven hundred and eighty three thousand. 855 banknotes per serial number and the first and last prefix at the same print run so this one's a pretty low number 21,100 but it's a DD and I'd say it's a trinary because it has 0, 1 and 2 it's only three numbers maybe it'd be interested to someone but it is circulated and it has low and Kennedy as the actual numbers on uh, not the numbers the signatures but that one is just going to be a space filler. Because I like to actually get banknotes from every year. Okay. The next one we have is a 2019. So the last banknote in this denomination I printed was also 2021. I haven't seen any of those. So yeah, we have a 2023. No 20s, 21, yeah, also low print run, 347,000, AAEA, so it's one, it's going to be hard to get, uh, 2020, also, oh no, about 2 million of each, so that one should be quite common, but I haven't come across them, and the first print run is the 2019, so this has been in circulation for 5 years, and it's a A E A, and also you can see they have two rows of 20 so one's frozen and gate ends and if you get one it's under 200,000 so 200,000 is there it is the low on Fraser then you turn it over and you can see that's Fraser and low so the two long signatures uh the low gate ends should have a, a long and a short signature. So this one is, and yes, 189,258. So even though this is well circulated, as you can see, it's damaged. In the long term, I reckon this is actually going to be a good bank not to actually get. It has a lower print run than a lot of the previous series. So I am going to keep that for at least 20 30 years okay and the last one we have is a 2008 so if you look at the okay 2018 there was no, no 20s 17 no 20s, 16, 
no 20s, 15, no 20s, 14, no 20s, 13. Okay, this is the last year that they printed the old series. So this series of $20 banknotes, and as you can see, it's pretty huge. Oh, no, not really. Okay, the day, it's not really that huge. Uh, but it's nearly, yeah, 800,000 of each prefix. So that one's probably good to keep in first and last. Okay, so the last prefix is harder to get because everyone, people don't know which one is the last prefix. So a lot of the last prefix probably use. And no, okay, to 2010 also. Not a common print. 2009, no. Okay, so 2008 had a huge print run. So the first is AA, had a million banknotes, so it's a million of these. And the last is JC with also a million. So this one's the last. So 2008's the last year that they issued this $20 banknote in uh, high numbers. The 2010 and 2013 are actually pretty low. So these ones are the most common banknote I still get that's in the last, uh, the previous issue. And they're still fairly common. I encounter them pretty much. If I spend a hundred dollars and I get change of a twenty, I'm more than likely to get one of these fifty percent of the time. So they're still fairly common, as well as the old fifty dollar banknotes, which uh, let me take it out. Which you know, these ones have been in circulation for six years, uh, been replaced with the new ones for six years. That's two thousand eighteen. So, but these ones are still pretty common. And this is 2008, and the last prefix of 2008 is MD, so this is just general prefix. What are the numbers look good? If that was a 2 instead of a 1, it would probably be good. Anyway, that's the what I've actually encountered in my banknotes. So, thank you very much, have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time, and take care. Thank you and goodbye.